guys, this is Spark Plus Ultra here, and this is my new what if. What if Deku had Gwen Tennyson's powers? Power isn't everything. And thanks for voting for this what if. And I hope you like this video. In a world that has 80% of the population that has quirks, some 20% don't have any. But for those that have near zero 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 one percent they have a unique power power that is driven from the earth itself of light mana and sumi was about four when she heard that she doesn't have a card she came a little jealous of a little on her friend but she doesn't hold that much of a grudge she always admires heroes, especially All Might and Lucky Girl. And Zumi was a bit serious on working her way in training. She trained under karate at the age of five and earning a black belt. But she trained even harder and got a third degree. Oh boy. But when she comes back to her house, she sees her mom, Inko, having a talk with a person that Zumi knows too well. And Zumi says, <sighs> How's it going, cousin? Lucy. And Lucy says, Zumi! And hugs Zumi. And Zumi says, <sighs> How are you? And Lucy says, Is I'm fine. Haven't seen you since a while. How's it been? And Zumi says, <laughs> Still quirkless, as you think. And Lucy says, Hmm, really? There's something different. Hmm, is it something that I miss? And Sumi says, No, nah, no. And Inko says, Oh, she earned her black third degree black belt. And Lucy says, Really? That's awesome. <laughs> this is so cool. And Sumi says, It's nothing that fun. Of. And Lucy says, No! Most quirkless users don't get black belt because of quirk users sometimes. That means you're really getting better at hand to hand combat! And Zumi says, Really? <laughs> Thanks. And when Zumi was getting a little happy, finally getting a good talk, but when Zumi was gonna get to her room, she got splatted when she opened her door and Lucy says <laughs> gotcha <laughs> and Sumi says Lucy and goes after Lucy and Lucy says <laughs> you're too easy and Sumi says ah, your quirk is so annoying never underestimate a mud puppy and Sumi says mm. and when Lucy goes back to her home. Sumi says, ah, Her my puppy quirk is so annoying. And Inko says, Sumi, she's just messing with you. She never brags about her quirk. And Sumi says, Yeah, but her pranks are annoying. Last time I had my hair clean because of that. And she used my toothbrush. And Inko says, I don't think that was... And Sumi says, ah, whatever, I just don't want to be like that every time. And Inko says, I understand. Just calm down. Sumi says, ah, how can I be calm? And Inko says, well, your grandma is coming. Bye. And Sumi says, wait, grandma? And Inko says, yeah, she's going to tell you something. And Sumi says, really? Uh, when she'll come? And Inko says, oh, she's coming tomorrow. And Sumi says, all right. And waiting next day, her grandma comes and says, oh, Sumi, it's great to see you. And Sumi says, it's great. See ya, grandma. They were having a fun time, having a little great lessons and telling about a generation. Sumi says, uh, 
What are you telling me? And Nico says, our family is a little unique. Well, I do have a quirk, but it's something special. And Izumi says, hmm, then what is it? Oh, you'll find out soon. And her grandma tells that there's some books that she brought so she can read these ones. And Izumi says, hmm, I am a reader, so okay, I can learn on these. And Grandma was studying on that and telling her about the expendentials on the words and explaining what these characteristics are. And Zumi says, ah, This is so weird on these words. Is it something Latin? And Grandma says, Oh, yes, they're mixed with. Native and Latin, so you can speak different verbals to change on what you say. So he said, uh, thanks, but why am I? Oh, you find out soon, when you are older. And when Grandma leaves, Sumi reads the book and says, hmm, don't even know these words. Okay, I'll say the first chapter of that word. Aquata Risa. And water comes out of the room and shoots it all over the place. And Zumi says, Ah! What the? Water? I never had water before. And it's coming out of everywhere. And then the water stops. And Zumi then looks and sees a hex and realizes this is a grimoire, a magic book. And thinks to herself, I'm a ma magic user? This is, this is interesting. I gotta learn these spells properly. I don't want anybody to turn into a rabbit. And Zimiel stays up and learns the magic. Ten years later, Zumi done some practice on her magic and keeping it from anybody else. But she also did some other martial arts. Ones are Savat, which is Russian martial art that focuses on grapple and wrestling tactics. And Taekwondo, which is super fast, quick kicks that make a shotgun sound. Shotgun sounds that are really strong kicks. Well, she was studying on in school. A certain boy says, <laughs> well, look at that. Ain't it corkless dork? And Sumi says, What is it, Kachan? And Bakugo says, <laughs> So you call me Kachan? Haven't heard you call me that for a while, even though you stay on the box on 24 7. Sumi says, I'm trying to get into a good school. Any problems with that? And both have a tense stare down with neither looking the other way. And Bakugo says, huh, we'll see how effective your martial arts are when compared to my skills. Sumi says, you wanna bet? And Bakugo says, bring it. And both are looking at each other with a tense stare down, but was cut off by the teacher who says, all right, class and doing the all students are going the be heroes thing wanting to be heroes and obviously Bakugo is taking first but also Zumi and Zumi says uh, wait I'm quirkless and the teacher says yes but you also did really well on the studying despite your petrous bullying you made incredible athletics and the intelligence. So he says, <laughs> and Bakugo says, what? Run that again. And the teacher says, Bakugo, you only made it to physical. Well, Sumi takes intelligent, but her athletic skills also came into play. And with your quirk, it also had some bias, but it's still 
really big thing to deal with. And Zumi goes walking, and when she takes this shortcut, she sees some slime bubbling up. And then Zumi then cast a spell. Incendia. Then when she said that, a villain comes and says, Hey there, let me have your body, kid. And Zumi says the last word, imbue some. And firing a of wind that could sweep him up. And the sludge villain says, Your power is very interesting, little girl. I might take it. And when he was saying that, Zumi also cast another spell. Summon us. And saying that, the sludge villain then feels asleep. His body stops moving and then says, oh, What? Uh, and falls on the ground and was sleeping. And Zumi says, Phew, that was a simple task. I thought I was going to be in danger. And Zumi walks while leaving the sludge villain in a sleep trance. But when the spell was about to break. All Might comes down and says, My, who put this villain to sleep? I guess it was somebody that had a sleeping quirk or hypnosis. Clever. But when he gets at the Coca-Cola bottle, the sludge villain wakes up and says, All Might, where's that little brat? And when he says that, All Might grabs the sludge villain and puts him in the bottle, sealing it shut. And Sludge Villain says, Son of a- What the- <sighs> Damn it! And All Might says, Who are you talking about, the brat? <sighs> there was a green-haired girl who put me to s uses a wind and sleep on me. Damn it! She spoke weird gibberish. Wow. Hmm? Whoa. This is a interesting here. Then All Might takes him to the- prison, giving without any incident. Sumi trains to work on her spell, and becoming more proficient in her hand-to-hand -hand combat skills. And Sumi keeps saying, not good enough, I need to get better. But when she says that, a green glow comes out of her hand, and Sumi says, huh? What the? And Sumi then closes her eyes and opens them back. Hmm, I guess it's nothing. And trains to get into UA. And that's where I'm ending this video. I hope you liked this video and hope you subscribe. See you next time, Plus Ultra! Yeah.